What's up, Warwick Shore family? I wanted to talk to you today really quick about the next stimulus package and potentially what will be in it and the very high potential that it will be released next week. Stay tuned. We're going to talk about all of that coming up next. Hello everyone, my name is Paul Zachary Shelton Jr. and I'm the Chief Investment Officer of Warwick Shore Advisors. We are a wealth and investment management firm located in Orlando, Florida with clients all across the United States. If this is your first time coming to my channel, I ask that you please hit the subscribe button. Please ring the bell so that you can get an update each time I upload a new video. And please like and share this video to help me increase the financial literacy of our globe. So today is going to be really quick. I just want to give you an update, let you know that on July the 20th, that's when Congress is supposed to come back from recess. Um, they've been playing on the swing sets, the merry-go-round. Now, it seems that way, but they really haven't. They've been working behind the scenes and trying to draft together a stimulus package that would hopefully be suitable to take care of our economy as we are in a pandemic-induced recession right now. So today I'm gonna to talk to you about some of the things, you know, from my notes here that are going to be in this next economic stimulus package. And more than likely, we will see a bill presented sometime um, next week, July 20th or after in that, in that week there. And it's very important that we see something in that time frame because Congress will recess again, you know, typically they recess again to go back for schools to get back in session and they can be in their jurisdiction during that time. But on August 7th, they will be on recess again um, for another two week period. So hopefully we can get something introduced and passed within the next week or so, so that payments will start to be disseminated out in the subsequent weeks thereafter. But it looks like there's gonna be a bipartisan approach to this and the Senate Republicans really want a plan that's closer to $1 trillion. Democrats want something that's closer to $3 trillion. And the difference between those two is who's going to be eligible to receive stimulus and where's the stimulus going to be directed. Um, the Democratic plan leans more towards providing economic stimulus payments to individuals, um, help, helping with businesses, extending unemployment insurance and things of that nature. The Senate Republican plan is more so leaning towards providing some help to individuals, but not on a massive level. Um, we know that $40,000 has been quoted as the cutoff point, but Mitch McConnell did not clarify if that's going to be $40,000 for a household or per individual tax recipient. Put it together for a couple that could be $80,000. And he also didn't say if that's going to be the starting point for tearing down the payments or if that's just going to be a hard cutoff and no one above that will make or uh, receive any economic stimulus. So that's still waited to be seen on, on that. Additionally, um, $2,000 in the, in the house plan was uh, floated out with recurring payments. As of right now, possibly $1,200 um, one time payment is kind of what they're leaning towards. Um, I know the Senate does not want to do recurrent payments. They're afraid of how expensive that's going to be and how discouraging that's going to be for people to get back to work. So some of the other things that I'm going to mention to you about what will be in this next stimulus package. First off is state and local government aid. Many states are struggling. Uh, we're struggling even before the recession, before the pandemic hit. As a, as a result of the financial situation of our country, many states are struggling even more so. So there is a high appetite for there to be state and local government aid provided to the states during the next round of economic stimulus. So I look to see that there are more than likely be a package or some sort of, some part of the package that will disseminate money directly to the states and local governments. Now we've seen in different states and different cities and municipalities all across the country, um, separate stimulus packages from those areas. So I know in Orange County, Florida, um, the county had a separate stimulus package where they gave money to all of its citizens, or at least to the citizens that were able to get online 
and the short amount of time that it was open, it's kind of like a lottery the way it worked, but it was an additional thousand dollars that was given to citizens. In addition to that, they provided PPE for all of the businesses within the county if you met a certain qualification. So it looks like we're gonna see more of that coming in the future. Additionally, the unemployment um, assistance will more than likely be significantly less or much lower than what it is right now at the $600 that is still scheduled to phase out as of July 31st. But there is not much of an appetite to extend that through January like the HEROES Act says, especially not at a $600 a week clip. So more than likely we're gonna see something that's gonna step down maybe $300 a week and then step down further and further from that. So stay tuned about that. It's very possible that there will be an extension, but it just will not be at the, at the rate it is now. And additionally, under the CARES Act, I, I produced in my video yesterday, you do have, I believe it's the, the pandemic um, emergency compensation, unemployment compensation, that provides you with an additional 13 to 20 weeks of unemployment assurance per state. Depends on where your state, which state you live in, you may have to reapply for that. I know in Florida and North Carolina, you have to reapply for that um, additional 13 weeks of uninsurance, unemployment insurance. Many states is automatic where you'll automatically receive it, but I would encourage everyone out there to check your state, to check your unemployment system and see how they run it. Will you automatically get the federal additional 13 weeks Will that be added on or do you have to reapply for that? So definitely look into that. The next thing that's really big on the docket, and this is primarily for the Republicans out there, they want liability protection for businesses, hospitals and schools um, as they're reopening. So they want to protect them from being sued and held liable for reopening and someone contracting the coronavirus on their premise. This is very understandable and this is something that you know you kind of think would be um, pretty common sense you know given that we are in a pandemic right now if i go to a restaurant and i contract COVID 19 i kind of understand the risk that i took when i went to that restaurant it's not like this virus is contained to one subset of our country or one subset of the globe it's everywhere so it's pretty much adding extra finances, extra money um, to the businesses to give them confidence to go back and continue to keep their doors open. Is this something that's just truly needed? Is this something that's gonna really stimulate the economy and push more money into the economy? There's an argument that it won't, not at least not as much as it would if you were giving direct payments to individuals that are going out there and driving commerce and spending money. So one of the things that the president wanted in the next stimulus package was payroll tax cuts. So the president feels like this will help stimulate growth in the economy. And it's very possible that it can stimulate growth in the economy. If you cut taxes, payroll taxes, um, then there's more money out there for us individuals that are, are paying the taxes from our paychecks and for those business owners that have to pay for those employees. So we'll have more money in there um, it'll be an incremental amount of money though. I mean, something like this, I believe was done back in 2008 during the, the first economic stimulus that took place under the Great Recession, where there was a slight moratorium on the payroll tax. It is beneficial. You can see the difference in your paycheck, although it's not gonna be one large lump sum of money that any individual will receive, but it will be, money, it will be incremental help I should say for daily things such as groceries, buying gas and things of that nature. So look for that. Student loan forgiveness is something that was passed in the HEROES Act, which will um, provide $10,000 of student loan forgiveness for borrowers that were struggling financially. It's very possible that this may be a topic that does not make it to um, the stimulus bill that the Senate is going to put forth. So we'll wait and see on that one, how that looks. Another thing that the White House wanted was an infrastructure plan. So helping with the infrastructure around the uh, country, getting people back to work, that the idea behind that is the more we're building on roads, the better. 
um, for our country, the newer technology we'll have for our country, as well as you're putting people back to work and you're employing them in that same manner. Lastly, one thing that, that could make the bill would be the $4,000 travel bonus. So this proposal is set up for people to receive up to a $4,000 tax credit to take a vacation that is at least 50 miles away from your home. Many people that I've spoken to recently and a lot of stuff that I see when I look at my research and I watch CNBC and Bloomberg is many people are not encouraged to travel at this time. And if they do travel, they want to stay closer to home as opposed to traveling far from home, given everything that's going on right now. So we'll see how this works to stimulate the economy. And again, it won't be cash that's given to you to travel. It'll just be a tax credit that you will be a recipient of when you file your taxes next tax season. So in conclusion, it looks like there will definitely be another stimulus bill and there more than likely it will be released sometime next week, um, July 20th or after in that week. So please stay tuned as I provide you more updates to that. Um, there's a large range in where that stimulus package could come. It could be anywhere from $1 trillion to $3 trillion. More than likely, it'll be somewhere in the middle, closer to one and a half to two trillion dollars. So we'll wait to see what exactly comes to pass. If you have any questions about anything that I've said, please leave a comment below. I do my best to get to all of my comments and questions. And also please subscribe to this channel, ring the bell so that you can get an update each time I upload a new video. And lastly, please like and share this video to help me increase the financial literacy of our globe. Thank you so much and have a great day.